hello guys uh, welcome to the channel in this video i'm going to show how to add a search filter uh, for a list that we have using our uh, react hooks so for this i have a list of countries uh, where i listed uh, where the flags and the country names now i'm going to show how to do filtering in this so for this i'm using a api to fetch the countries list then i'm setting that in a state with the state I am actually uh, mapping the state and uh, displaying the country details. So the country details is the where uh, the image and uh, name has been uh, rendered. Now to actually uh, introduce search, we just uh, first need to introduce an input field where a user was allowed to type the search string. So this is a normal input text uh, input box with a type text now I am going to create another uh, state variable called search to hold the search value whatever the user is typing so for this I am going to use uh, use state from react hooks use state hook default value is uh, empty which uh, gives us to search and uh, set search so I'm going to write on change event on this I'm going to update that uh, state variable get the value and I'm going to set that in the state so let me check if this is reflecting so obviously it will reflect but just to verify that uh, it's actually storing it in the state variable yeah now the value is holding in the state variable now based on the state variable you can have you have two approach to do this one uh, we can use uh, use uh, effects hook or uh, on re -render, on re every render we will check and we will filter the uh, search string in the list we will uh, render the filter countries now first I am going to show the first one uh, without using use fx hook so with the filter countries will contain the filtered search result that we will do it uh, with the normal of javascript filter so this will check for the name in the country or uh, json So before checking this, we need to convert this to lower case so that uh, it will be case uh, insensitive search. So and I'm going to check uh, the includes the search string. And also I'm going to lower case that to have a case insensitive search now this is the filtered country list so actually if you are not if you're using a package so then you need to put return statement if it's an online statement you don't need to put this package so it and also the return statement so with this filter countries I'm rendering this now we'll check this Oh, it is working as uh, expected so I will show you uh, the other way of doing this with uh, use effects this way we will uh, filter the countries list only once when we change the value in the search box and it will not uh, compute this uh, search operation filter operation every time the component return does so for this I am going to provide a use effects with uh, the search so that our uh, use effects know that uh, whenever something changes in the search variable it will trigger this uh, effect so now I am going to create another state variable for uh, storing the filtered result I 
I'm going to use uh, using use state hook. By default, that will contain uh, empty array. Now I want to copy the same filter operation and put that there and set the filter countries inside the effects. So I want to set filter countries. I'm just going to take this and paste it over there. Now we don't need this here. Okay, now this is complaining that uh, countries is not added as a dependency so we'll add the countries also if something changes in the countries we'll again search for the filters so now we already are having the filtered countries so i think it shouldn't be a problem so we are looping the filtered countries so now also it's it works as expected but the only difference is it will not compute the filter every time the component tree renders now this will be computed only when user some type something in the search box. So for performance wise, uh, this is the better approach. So I'll leave it up to you guys to choose whether uh, the first approach or the second approach. I would personally prefer the second approach. Thank you guys. Uh, that's it. Uh, it's very easy to implement the search. Thanks for watching the video, please subscribe for more videos like this.